Look at that hovercraft. We sure wrecked it, didn't we, Sam? We double wrecked it. Let's visit the professor and see how he's doing. Mm-hmm. Macaroni fruit, French bread loaves, and some blue cheese bricks. Mm-hmm. Bricks. Mm-hmm. Roaring raspberries! Professor Heatherman, you sure have a lot of funny-looking bugs. Any cheese-eating ones? Uh, what Sam is trying to say is that your insect collection is very interesting, and we'd like to help you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, well, I think that could be arranged, and I'd really appreciate the help, since I don't have time to, uh, monkey around. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, uh, oh, yeah, I, I come to think of it, I need to label some jars for my latest insect finds. Uh, would you like the job? Sounds great. How can we help you? Funny you should ask. Uh, take a look at this. <laughs> this is a diagram that shows the body parts of an insect. It will help you learn how to make labels for my insect jars. All insects have some very important things in common. First of all, they have three main body parts. A head at the front, a thorax in the middle, and an abdomen at the end. All insects have two antennae that are attached to the head. Oh, they also have six legs that are attached to the thorax, three on each side. Mm -hmm. Lots of insects have wings, and some insects even have something on the end of the abdomen, like this stinger. Ouch! Oh, oh, ah, don't touch it. So there you have it, the body parts of an insect. Mm hmm Anytime you want to look at the diagram again, just pull the string, and I will be happy to show it to you. Mm-hmm, happy. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're ready, pick a jar, and I'll give you a list of instructions to help you make a label. Mm -hmm. Label. That sounds like more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Uh, what my friend means, Professor, is we'd love to do it. Here is the first one, uh, number one. Yellow jacket. Now, uh, take a look at this list. It tells you some things about this insect's body parts. Mm -hmm. You must look through the parts and select one of each to make a picture for the label. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when you're finished, press that small jar. Mm -hmm. That one. Yes, well, oh, those wings just aren't working for me. Mm -mm. Ooh, so close. Yet this insect needs a different pair of wings. Mm -hmm. Ah, you've completed the insect label for this jar. Good. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Yellow jackets are a kind of wasp and are found mostly in North America. They live in large groups and work together to build nests where they can lay their eggs. Yellow jackets eat nectar, insects, and sometimes even spiders. The female yellow jacket has a stinger at the end of the abdomen, which it uses for protection and to paralyze prey. You've returned to label the insects? 
Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. I'm glad you can help me out with this one. Mm -hmm. Very glad. Only one part is right. Whoop, <laughs> try again. Oh, excellent. Ah, eep. Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Oh, yes, uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? Oh, excellent. Ah, eep! Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm-hmm. Oh, banana -rific. This label looks terrific! Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Although the bee fly does not have a stinger, it is very similar to a honey bee. It has a hairy, colorful body, and it buzzes loudly when it flies. Bee flies live in dry, hot places and drink nectar from flowers. Since bee flies look like real bees, most animals do not try to eat them. Oh, ah, it's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please? Here are the instructions for this label. Picture perfect! Another one done! Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Grasshoppers live in fields and are plant eaters. Like some other insects, grasshoppers have holes along the sides of their bodies for breathing. These insects can use their wings to fly, but they are especially known for hopping. They use their long back legs to jump long distances.
Oop, eep. Oh, pick a jar and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. Eek! Eek! None of these parts belong on this insect. Uh, please check the list and try again. Try again. Oh, uh, put your heads together and come up with a different head. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very good, but I think that head belongs on a, a different insect. <laughs> I think you need to look at the list to find out which parts to use. Ah, oh, uh, put your heads together and... Well, you sure know your insect parts. Have you ever thought of becoming an entomologist? Entomologist. Mm -hmm. Could be you. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The dragonfly is a colorful insect that uses its large wings to fly and swoop down to catch other insects. It can even hover in the air like a hummingbird. Dragonflies lay their eggs in water. When the eggs hatch, the young dragonflies, or larvae, live in the water until they have grown enough to fly away. When they are ready to lay eggs, they return to the water. Ah, you've returned to label the insects? Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. Oh, yes, I really appreciate your help with this label. Oh, that looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? Scientifically speaking, you are super duper. Mm hmm. Excellent. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The mayfly lives near lakes and rivers and lays its eggs in the water. After the eggs hatch, the baby mayflies, called nymphs, do not have wings yet. They sometimes spend more than two years living in the water. They have to watch out for fish that try to eat them. Once the nymph becomes an adult, it only lives for a few more hours, just long enough to lay its eggs.
Oh, ah, it's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please? Here are the instructions for this label. Oh, excellent. Ah, eep! Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, another banana-rific label. At this rate, we'll be finished in no time. Mm -hmm. No time. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Although the monarch butterfly is beautiful, it is actually poisonous. It gets its poison when it is still a caterpillar by eating the leaves of the poisonous milkweed plant. Animals that try to eat the monarch get sick, and the bright colors of this butterfly warn animals to stay away. Monarchs use a long tongue to sip nectar from flowers. Eep. Oh, pick a jar and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. Oh, that looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Mm Oh, banana -rific. This label looks terrific! Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The water strider is also known as the pond skater. It mostly lives in ponds and streams. The water strider uses its long legs to run across the top of water. It can feel vibrations on top of the water when insects fall into the pond, and this helps it catch other bugs for food. Ah, you've returned to label the insects? Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. Oh, yes, I really appreciate your help with this label. Oh, oh, mmm, mmm, that's one strange-looking insect you've got there. Ah, check the list again, please. Oh, strange. Only one part is right. Whoop, <laughs> try again and find the rest of them.
Yes, uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? I think you need to look at the list to find out which parts to use. Maybe the professor will read it to you. Picture perfect! Another one done! Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The colorful jewel wasp is a very interesting insect. As an adult, it usually eats nectar and tree sap. But when it is ready to lay eggs, it stings a cockroach, lays the eggs on top of it, and then puts the cockroach into a hole. When they hatch, young jewel wasps, called larvae, live in the cockroach and use it for food. When they are old enough, the larvae make cocoons and turn into jewel wasps. It's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please? Here are the instructions for this label. You're so close, I just can't stand it. Mm, but you need a new thorax. Um, middle part. Mm -hmm. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? You still need a different thorax. Well, you sure know your insect parts. Have you ever thought of becoming an entomologist? Entomologist. Mm -hmm. Could be you. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Earwigs are small insects that are found all over the United States. Some earwigs are wingless, while others have wings hidden beneath short wing covers. Earwigs eat plants and dead insects, but they can sometimes use the pincers at the tip of their abdomen to catch live insects. During the day, they hide in dark, wet places, and they come out at night to search for food. Oh, pick a jar, and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. Scientifically speaking, you are super duper. Mm hmm. Excellent. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The stag beetle is easy to recognize because of its huge jaws that look like deer antlers. 
You might be surprised to learn that this beetle does not eat other insects. It eats plants and sometimes the sap from the inside of trees. This beetle lays its eggs inside of fallen trees. When they hatch, the young stag beetles, called larvae, spend several years eating the dead wood before they become adults. Galloping gorillas, you've completed all the insect labels. Congratulations. If you want to design your own insect pictures, have a look at this folder. <laughs> well, we are all finished here, uh, unless you are feeling creative. <laughs>